Roman numerals are any letter or any group of letters which represent a number in the Roman numerical system. Here is a Roman numerals chart which can help us to write out Roman numerals. Roman numerals are made of seven different letters. I equals one, V equals five, X equals 10, L equals 50, C equals 100, D equals 500, and M equals 1000. So how do we use these letters to represent a number? Well, a letter placed after another letter of equal or greater value adds to its value. So for example, XX equals 20 or VI equals six. A letter placed before a letter of greater value subtracts from its value. So for example, IX equals nine or CD equals 400. As a general rule, we can't have more than three of the same letters next to each other. So for example, CCC equals 300. We know that that's correct because there are no more than three of the same letters in a row. However, if we wanted to make 400, we couldn't have C, 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 C because that's more than three of the same letter in a row. So what we do is we look for the letter that's one higher, which is D. D equals 500. We know that 400 is 100 less than D, so we put our C before the D, which is 500 take away 100, which we know is 400. The exact same rule is applied when we write large numbers, but we must always start with the largest place value first. So for example, if we wanted to write the number 522, we would start with the largest place value, which is the 500. We know that 500 is D, so we're going to start with a D. Then we need to add our 22 onto the end. We know that 20 is XX. We know that two is II. So 522 is D, X, X, I, I. We can do this with literally any number. So let's try a different number. Let's try 439. Again, we need to start with the largest place value, which is 400. We know that we can't have three of the same letters in a row. So we know that 400 is C, D. 100 before 500. Then we need to write our 39. We know that 30 is X, X, X. And we know that to make nine, nine is one before 10. So nine is I, X. That means that 439 is C, D, X, 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 I, X. Now let's try adding Roman numerals. To add Roman numerals, all you need to do is work out the Roman numerals as a number, add those numbers together, and then work out your answer in Roman numerals. For example, let's try adding these two Roman numerals. We've got CCXLVI and DCCXII. CCXLVI has 200 followed by XL, which is 50 take away 10, which is 40, and VI, which is five add one, which is six. So all together, we know that CCXLVI is 246. DCCXII is 712 because DCC is 500 add 200, which makes 700, and XII is 10 add 2, which is 12. So altogether, we have 712. 246 added to 712, we know is 958. To work out 958 with Roman numerals, again, we're going to start with the largest place value, which is 900. We know that 900 is 100 before 1000, so we know that that's CM. We know that 50 is L, and we know that 8 is 3 more than 5, which is VIII. So our answer to 958 in Roman numerals is CMLVIII. Thanks for watching. See you next time.